Hey guys, it's Kurt from Worsey Club USA. Yep, there it is, that pesky MIDI conflict. If you haven't seen it, um, it doesn't really matter what type of device you're working with. It has a lot to do with using dedicated MIDI channels. So we're going to look at that a little bit and show you what we know. And we don't really have an official fix, but we can work around it. We just wanted to show you real quick the back of the organ to verify that we actually don't have anything connected right now via our MIDI connections. And we can still create this, um, I'll call it issue, uh, pretty easily. So uh, we've run into this working with our Keytron. We've run, in it, run into it with uh, a Roland module and even running the VSTs that you can install inside of uh, OAX. Well, now you guys have seen this quite a few times, but it's worth checking this one more time. So I'm just going to pick uh, upper one, which is set up for channel one right now. Right, and remember if we double click and we click edit sound, oh, I'm sorry, routing and edit sound, this is what we're talking about. So I have set this particular sound to be on MIDI channel one. Remember, you can change it to the system allocated MIDI channel. And now OAX will go pick an unused channel for you. Where we run into a problem is depending on the external MIDI device you want to control, you may not want OAX to pick a channel because it may pick a channel that means nothing to your external device. And in most cases, what we have found, uh, you kind of want to control the channel. Uh, the Roland module we had was uh, pretty easy to work with. It didn't matter what channel we used. It was just 16 channels that could play any sound. Other devices, not necessarily the case. Let's go ahead and switch back to the main screen. And let me create the conflict so you can kind of see it and understand it better. So. Remember in my naming convention, C1 meant channel 1, C12, C13, C2. So those were all whatever MIDI channel I created for that particular user sound to work on. So I'm going to go up here to uh, upper 2, which is currently on channel 12. Notice we already have channel 2 assigned to the lower keyboard. Let's say, for whatever reason, we would like to use this sound, I'm sorry, this sound down here. And notice I don't give it a name, I just have a channel number for now. But this could very well be a violin or a trombone or whatever it is that you change, make the name to be. Uh, and if you don't know what channel you used, this would be kind of an annoying problem. At least in my case, I can identify the channel number. But anyway, so let me go ahead and hit sounds and I'm going to pick channel 2 and instantly there's our conflict and notice it's telling us that it's already in use on lower manual 1 and oh by the way it has turned it off I mean you know you don't really get a chance it's it's already taken an action perhaps that would be something that would be an improvement here is to give me the choice of what to do versus just doing something. Not sure. Um, I, guess I'd, I guess I'd have to see that and decide if that helped me or not. But we click OK and we uh, back out. Uh, notice that it turned this off. But because I didn't hit enter on the previous screen, it actually didn't change this one to channel 2. So now if we go back in here and we go to channel two, and now we hit enter. I assume that's German for enter, not sure. Notice we didn't get the error message because we had deactivated it down here. So let's go through that again. Let's pretend we want to add channel two again up here. So if I hit sounds and I hit two, of course I get the message. So I'm going to click OK. Notice it said it deactivated it. But this time I'll hit enter, which last time I didn't do that. This time I'll hit enter. And notice this one, channel two, has been turned off. And this one, channel two, is turned on. And oh, by the way, remember when we started, this was channel two. So you can see how quickly you can kind of get confused, frustrated, and maybe not 
the sounds that you want in place. Now, is there a fix? Well, if there is, we sadly don't have one, but we can give you a couple of suggestions. Remember again, um, look at your voices and make darn sure that it is on the channel you expect. So again, in my case, I added C1 to my name to help me know that this particular sound was on channel one, and sure enough, it is. Um, it, it's pretty easy to be in this edit screen and save it and not know that the MIDI channel actually isn't what you intended. I have done that and had to go back in and edit the sound to get it back on the right channel. So about now you're going to ask, what the heck was the point of the video if you can't fix it for me? Well, uh, really to kind of get it out there so we could discuss it a little bit more. Um, there's some pretty smart guys that follow the blog and they uh, don't have OAX instruments. So uh, when they see it, they might go, oh, hey, you big dummy, all you got to do is click here. I'd be happy if someone could uh, help all of us with that. Uh, the other thing I'll do is, because I know there's some folks that would like to see four sounds uh, stacked up, so I'm going to, just for the heck of it, I'm going to switch to some random preset that is a factory preset. So this is using all dynamic channels uh, from OAX, right? So this is those system assigned MIDI channels. Let's, for the heck of it, um, I'm going to go to upper one. I'm going to go to sounds. I'm going to go to user, I'm going to go to user, and I am going to put channel 12 here. And on this one, we are going to put in user again. Where the heck did it go? Uh, user, user, let's go with 13 and hit enter. There we go. And let's go to, oops, sorry, wrong button. Um, Wrong button again. I wanted to click on sounds. Uh, user sounds, user, let's go to 14 and hit enter. And let's do one more and we'll put this guy on channel 15 right here. So um, I know there's some folks that wanted to see this and so there's a case of it working. Notice, uh, well, again, back to my comment, I am darn sure that when it says 12, 13, 14, and 15, that those sounds are truly mapped to those channels. And um, I ensured that I had no other um, dedicated MIDI sounds set up. So I went in uh, to a factory preset, and then I started creating my new preset using user sounds and did it in an order that I knew I wouldn't hit a conflict. So I'm not sure that's a fix. It's just you got to kind of unfortunately think through what it is you want to accomplish. And so of course I could now save this if I wanted to, right, as a um, uh, user sound. Uh, I'm sorry, a user preset. And if I put it down here where I'm fooling around right here, now that is saved as one of my user presets and sure enough I've got four external MIDI channels in service, uh, four more MIDI channels that are playing sounds from internal sounds on the organ and then on our pedals once again an additional separate uh, MIDI channels playing pedals. So what do we got there? Four and four, eight, nine, ten different MIDI channels are in service at this point. Not sure if that helps. Uh, I'm going to open this one up to more discussion on the blog and we'll see if we can all get it figured out. As always, thanks for watching.